Nicole, very good afternoon to you. Thank you for your time. Just how surprised were you to hear that the mayor had indeed handed, has handed herself over to the Hawks this morning? Good afternoon, Tim Bikile. Um, you look, I think we weren't surprised at all. Those of us who are working actively in Etiquini are fully aware of what's been going on here. And that is that the ANC has been, um, has abandoned the service delivery mandate and has been, you know, obsessed with whole scale looting of, of the municipality. So I think we saw a number of arrests about 10 days ago, um, municipal officials and contractors who were implicated in the same matter. And I think it's worrying that the politicians were only arrested after the election. But nonetheless, it's definitely not a surprise to us. And just on what you've mentioned about the arrest of the mayor and uh, this other senior ANC official, this councillor, you say here in one of the articles that the fact that this only happened after the election whilst contractors and municipal were officials had already been arrested in the case that implicates both Kumete and Tembu is a clear indication of a deal that was struck to save the face of the ANC. That's in a statement re released by you or con attributed at least to you today. What informs that position? Well, I've had sight of the investigative report that's, that's being used as the basis for this case. And that investigative report clearly indicates that Daniele Gomede and Monty Tembu, who serves on the executive committee with me, were the ringleaders in this entire matter, that they were the ones who ensured that Robert Abu was appointed in the position he was so that he could control the waste management tenders and then force those contractors to subcontract to people chosen by ANC councillors. So it's very clear that they are the, the ringleaders behind this entire um, scandal. And the fact that everybody else was arrested prior, that Zandile was given a chance to hand herself over after the election was said and done, I think is, is suspicious at best. Given that argument then, and neither you and I know at this point if indeed there was some sort of maneuvering to save some sort of political embarrassment for either the mayor or the ANC at this point, but based on what you're telling me this afternoon, is that to say that you are looking at the handling of this case by the law enforcement authorities with a more keen interest, especially because of your suspicions in this regard? Well, I think we'll be monitoring it very closely. Um, I think that the situation around witnesses that was mentioned earlier um, is also of a concern. The culture of political violence in Etiquini is obviously quite severe. And we saw last week that uh, a state witness in the Newcastle uh, case involving the Newcastle mayor was murdered. So I think we're going to be watching this case closely from a number of angles. Um, one is that obviously we want this kind of political uh, looting of the municipality to stop and there to be accountability and justice in, in the city, but also that the case proceeds properly. Um, so we, we, I don't think we're at the point yet where we can say the NPA you know, are, are pol politically compromised because there have been arrests and we, you know, we're cautiously optimistic about the progress. But it is something we'll be monitoring very closely. Mm -hmm. um, and we do think that the mayor should be suspended by the ANC because she can't continue to be in the position of mayor when she's co so clearly compromised uh, and, and being shown to be interfering in the administration of the municipality like she has been. I think it's best that she is suspended. There's an, you know, we've got a deputy mayor who can act in the position and thereafter, whether she's found innocent or guilty, there can be a conclusion. But leaving her as the mayor, it's already affecting the functioning of the city. We were meant to have ex code today. It was postponed. Frequently, we are seeing meetings postponed because of what's happening around the mayor. Mm -hmm. And I think it's best for stability. It's best for accountability that the ANC suspend her until such time as there is a resolution. Let me ask you this, Nicole. We've heard from the Hawks today saying that they expect to make more arrests because there is a broader investigation that's on the go. The, these arrests that we're seeing here all have to do with the Durban uh, Waste Project. It's the Durban Solid Waste Department. Yes. In your knowledge of just the scene politically and what's going on in the departments in Itegwini, where else should law enforcement be looking? I think there are a number of departments that have huge issues. I think water and sanitation is a big problem. And there's a, the case around the chemical toilets, which also implicated the mayor and Bondi and Tembu, um, has not yet been resolved. There are a number of issues of planning and development, the, the, the uh, Department of Planning uh, Management. 
where people are able to pay for plans, where all kinds of things are going on as long as you're able to know the right people and pay them off. Um, and I think housing has been a big, you know, we had huge problems with housing delivery and how those tenders are allocated. Um, and the report that the, that is that is being used as the basis for this investigation says that the mayor and Monty and Temple were trying to usurp the function of the city manager, basically interfering in the administration, the leadership of almost every department in the city. So this is very much the tip of the iceberg in terms of just how deep the rot is in the city and how far the hawks will have to go to make sure that they can put a stop to it. You said, Nicole, that you want the ANC to suspend Zandi Lekumete so that she doesn't continue with her duties as mayor. Say the ANC keeps her in the position. What are you, as the DA in Etegwini, able to say you will do to ensure that she's suspended while this criminal process plays out? Well, obviously, you know, we're in opposition. We do have limited powers in that regard. If we could suspend the mayor, we would. We also have a system of, of, of an executive committee, so she's not an executive mayor which doesn't allow for a vote of no confidence in the law. Um, so we, you know, I have had sight of that report as well as many others. The DA has been instrumental in reporting a number of these matters to the Hawks in the first instance. And I think our role now is to ensure that there is accountability, ensure that the, the correct charges are being laid, ensure that where, where people are getting away with things, there's still a number of councillors that I believe need to be arrested uh, with regard to this, this matter. Ours is to follow this case closely and ensure that there is accountability and that there is justice. But I think the ANC also needs to hold up their end of the bargain. You know, the Zandili Gomele brought the city to its knees in the last uh, three weeks by causing a debilitating strike where some people didn't have water for up to 10 days. And the ANC wouldn't even act against her then. So I think that's uh, also a sign about, you know, the kind of leaders that the ANC is delivering to the people in KZN. But we're committed to do as much as we can to ensure that justice does take its course, and hopefully we'll see some cleaning up and some change in Etiquini. Nicole Graham, speaking to us on behalf of the DA in Etiquini, thank you.